MobilityMinded.com, your source for views, news, and reviews. MobilityMinded.com. Hello, this is Johan Vermeule with MobilityMinded.com, and today we're going to take a look at the new version of Documents to Go 3.3 which is going to be compatible with the iPad. As you can see right here, I have it on my iPad. Uh, first of all, I just want to let you know that the iPad has a capability to pass on information from your email, the, the built-in email. Uh, let's take a look at this. Within the built-in email application uh, to view documents. So as you can see, I got the test document right here. So I'm going to show you that. Right now, this is a test document that I'm viewing within the iPad email application. However, tapping on the screen right now, you can see on the right top it says Opal and Documents to Go. By doing that, it actually opens up indeed the Documents to Go application. And you can see I have the test document right here. The great thing is that once it's open into uh, Documents to Go, you can actually start editing the document. Hit the Save button. There, of course, there's a lot of functions. There's Save, Email, different kind of formatting. It's really an office suite uh, that is available on the iPad. So iWorks, you need a couple applications, documents to go. You buy it once, you can do most of it. If I hit save at the button, I can hit save it or save as. And the save as button I like a lot because right now you can see I can store it in different locations. Right now it asks me to store uh, on the local files, which will be the iPad. But if I can change it, I can hit select folder and I can store it in local files. That's where we just came from, which is your iPad. Desktop files, that will be the folder you're syncing with on your desktop application and online files. Now, looking at the online files, you can see my email right here. That's okay. Uh, this is my Google Docs within my application right here. So I say, okay, I want to store it right here. I hit select. And you will see it will actually save, if I hit the save button over here, it will save this document into my Google Documents. So let's go back to the main page right here. Here you can see I can search, I can uh, look at my local files, desktop files, online files. So the online files I just show you, I have these files right here. I can go back to this and it will synchronize the folders, it will upload the test document as you can see and right now I can see right here that the test document is located right there and there it is now if you want to move it to a different location you can um, uh, for this purposes actually I removed my personal Dropbox and my personal uh, doc documents uh, Google Docs for my personal email but basically you can do the same thing you can go save as on the right bottom or oh, left bottom sorry and you can save it and move it to another cloud service as you want to. Now let's take a look what kind of cloud services are available here. Uh, let's go back to the setup. Uh, you can sync with different desktops and with different online accounts. So let's add a new account and I'll give you the options right here. Google Docs, Box.net, Dropbox, iDisk, Public iDisk and SugarSync. So documents to go really, really it gives you access, I have to find the right word, give you access to all your cloud services, all your desktop, and it will sync directly with it. Uh, let's go back to one of these, um, actually, let's go back to documents to go. Let's go to my online files. I want to show you something really neat. Uh, as you can see, you can see some of them are blue icons and gray icons. The gray icons means they're not here yet, and the blue icons means they're on the, on the, uh, on the iPad. I can actually just slide it and hit remove. It's not removing it from my documents in Google, but it will remove it from the iPad. So you can actually store things directly online uh, and bring it on the road if you don't have Wi-Fi access and still be able to work with those documents. But you got to bring them in first um, onto your iPad by syncing the right uh, documents. So if I want to go back to that one right here, if I tap on it you will see it actually will downloading that document and now it's in a blue icon again so that's really great the last thing I want to show you is what about new documents it's great just open up on the right top you have a little plus and as you can see you get the options for Word 
MSX, Excel document, and a PowerPoint, or email with an attachment. Now, let's take a look really quick at the PowerPoint. As you can see, you can have a casual, corporate, or simple. Or, if you go with email attachments, again, you click on the bottom and it says Add File. It will ask you where would you like to pick the file from, and in the same situation, you can really, let me go back to that test document really quick. There it is. The test document, that's what I want. I hit done on the right top, and it actually allows you to uh, send the email. So let's cancel out on this one. This is uh, really great. Uh, I'm so happy the documents to go uh, updated their software. It's a free upgrade for premium if you're already a premium owner for the iPhone. Um, the iPhone setup is a little different. It doesn't let you do the email directly access to documents to go, so you kind of have to set up your email exchange and Gmail in here. But on the iPad, it really works for any email account that you have. So if you have the AOL set up, your Hotmail set up, it doesn't matter what kind of IMAP account you have, you will be able to pull your attachments in your email into your documents to go. This is definitely something you really want to have on your iPad. I think it's worth the $14.99, I believe it is, in dollars. So get out there, go get documents to go premium for your uh, uh, iPad. There we go. This was Johan Vermeulen, Mobility Minded, and thank you so much. Till next time.